another episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris. I'm Chris. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the official trailer for a long wait sequel, question mark, you know. Um, uh, it, it, it's, it's, yeah. I don't know how to feel because it's one of those movies, because lately we've been getting those a lot the last few years, where like, we're talking about, oh, let's do a sequel, oh, let's do a sequel, oh, let's do a sequel. They finally do a sequel and it's like, eh. Like, yeah, when Rush Hour finally got a third Rush, when they were finally at the third Rush Hour movie, everyone was like, you know, it's like, when there was going to be another Beverly Hills Cop movie. Never happened. The pilot never went through to air. Okay, so we're talking about the Bad Boys 3, which is known as Bad Boys for Life. Yeah. Pretty much. So, in this case, we have Will, we do have Will Smith and Martin Lawrence returning. I remember originally, it was just going to be one of them returning, this and that was them, it. But they but were able to convince, so I, I guess, think it was Will Smith that convinced Martin Lawrence. Yeah. So I think it was Martin Lawrence who just didn't want to do it anymore. So apparently, um, the vague plot we got off IMDb is that, like, Will Smith's character is kind of going through a midlife crisis while, you know, his friend is still just being, like, a police detective. Is much. the regular, just said that right, uh, the normal type of partner to have. And apparently they need to, they, they're, they're told by, they're forced to, al ugh, um, Albanian mercenaries come back for revenge after they, apparently they killed... One, I guess his brother or something like that. So are they trying to pull a Die Hard thing, pretty much, where it's like the brother's revenge? I don't know. I f okay. To be fair, I you know I thought the first Bad Boys I enjoyed. The second one was a bit over the top, and considering who was directing that one, it made sense how why over the top for it was. I I would probably pick. I picked. The, I enjoyed the first one more, to be honest. Yeah, I think this one. I think again. I think this is something like how I was saying earlier, which is, is that a lot. Some some of these actors, pretty much that you know, are known for certain characters. They, they it's like they want to wrap up some of their stories. They really. It's like they want to wrap so. up. And I, maybe that's what they want to do here. And I think that's why Will Smith convinced Martin uh, Lawrence to have. Uh, you know, it's it's like let's just do one more last ride. You know, that's it. You know, it's just it's just wrap up their stories in this final film. Let's do this. So, um, let's just dive right into this and take a look at the official trailer for Bad Boys for Life. So, here we go. Leave <laughs> that song. Every time. I was worried about him. Oh, come on, Captain. You know I shot some. Yeah. Yeah, you do shot some. Fuck me. Fuck. 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 <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Typical Captain. That's Vanessa Hudgens. Oh, shit. Never. Never. Y'all will never do that again. Yeah, and you fucking up the lyrics. It's take a long time to learn. 
<laughs> yeah, because remember the last movie that's how remember he's like a chicka boom boom thing. Okay, okay. I'm gonna get one thing out of the way. I hate this make make it I make I hate to make it sound so fucking harsh. Did that not kind of feel like a parody tra- like parody to like a potential sequel for Bad Boys? Just a bit. Yeah, it did. Just a bit like the opening sequence and shit like that. That I you think, no you offense. Felt like it felt, it felt, the trailer, like you said, the trailer felt like more of a parody to any one of the Bad Boy films. Yeah, like no offense, that's what it kind of felt like. Even that that one last ride, dude, one yeah. last ride, fist bump. It's like, I mean, that uh, other than that though, I it looks about what I expected a Bad Boy yeah. sequel to look like. You know, um, I think they did when they mean that one last ride. Because remember the last one, I think uh, I think uh, Martin Lawrence's character. Remember, I think he was getting ready to retire, or at least transfer or something like that. So that's why he's like, you know, one last time, you know, type of thing, you know, together. Yep. So way on that Lethal Weapon sequel, that'll probably never happen. Yeah, that too, pretty much. Uh, um, but the film looks about what I expect. It looks fine. Yeah, I'm gonna top pretty much a lot of stuff. It looks about what like the f- kind of feels more like what the first one was, sprinkled a little bit of what the second one was. That's what it is, you know, where it's like they're doing this one last time together and things like that. Again, it's like it's the same thing to getting up in age and stuff like that. Um, it's lo- it's good to see the catching. Uh, yeah, Joe Panley yeah, on it's, 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 it's like fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah, He's but like, you can tell like Will Smith's character is starting to like you know. Feel you know feel it's like starting it's, to catch up. It's starting, it's starting to, catch to catch up with him. Pretty yeah, that's much. What, that's why you know he's starting to feel what uh, Martin's character pretty much is, is like. You know, and yeah. That's why, and it, I like how they keep his character about the same. Going, let's talk to them. Let's keep them calm. Did you, did, did, did I you bet, I like the glasses. I told <laughs> you, asked for a whole year to get these. Wow, it's like looking yeah, at HD. You know, it's just something like. Remember when our dad got, first got glasses? Remember he's what was his first words to? He's like, wow, it's like HD. You know, it's it's like he's regretting because he's denying it, but it's like. I mean, the film. I think like I said, overall, the film looks fine. I mean, yeah. I think people have been waiting for it. I'll probably enjoy themselves for the most part. This is getting a January release, and you already know what I've said about January releases. Yeah, when they, they don't have too much faith they, in it. I already have too much faith in it. They don't have any faith, like not enough faith in it, or they don't exactly know where to put it, pretty much. Yeah, because it's like, with all these Marvel movies, it gets get really releases during the summertime. So they're, like, that's why they're releasing it in like mid-January. Of yeah, like early, yeah, early type of spring type of, type it, of stuff. The film looks fine. It looks like they're having fun. I think they've always been friends, so like yeah. that actually plays into their like roles. That's what, it is. That's, that's, that's this, that's what really this. works for these characters. Yeah. Like in real life, they're that close of good friends pretty much, you know? Yeah, and I did laugh once or twice at a couple of yeah. stuff. Like I said, I've enjoyed... Like, while I say that I enjoyed the first one more than the second one, I still enjoyed this the second one to a lesser extent. Like, more or less, you know, I still yeah, enjoyed it's, it's, it. Same here. I mean, I, 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 I could agree with that pretty much. I mean, I've always enjoyed the... Their chemistry, pretty much. I think that's what yeah. That's it. what's always that's worked what's been, in the films. That's is their what, chemistry. Yeah, that's what's always really worked, and what was always strong about the films is that their chemistry they bounced off of each other like like it was nothing, pretty much. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it's like yeah, we're driving to the mall. Don't worry, we're we're black and we're cops. We'll pull ourselves over later. later. It's like oh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, like I said, overall, you know. It looks about what I expect this sequel to look like. It looks fine. I'm not. It's not nothing too mind blowing. It's just it's fun. To, it is kind of fun to see these two characters back together again. Overall. Yeah. Probably yeah. For, you know most uh, hopefully just won't for one last time. And yeah. Like to wrap up their stories and wrap up their characters at least. Yeah. So other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more, oh, talk to us more about stuff like this. Comment down below. Bring up a layer. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about. I guess the Bad Boys trilogy now. <laughs> hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon still, as well. I still like that. No, no, no. Don't ever do that again. It's I didn't, my... No, I didn't bring that up, but like, um, they didn't exactly do the Bad Boys song. They did a weird remix yeah. of the original, but not exactly the original. And then the uh, the the, Diddy, the P. Diddy one, yeah. pretty much. He did like about like, Ten years. Oh my God, I'm old. He did it for about the like over film, ten like, years back. He did it second. No, no, that, that was the uh, shake your tail feather. Oh, that's right. That's this right. one was just. It was before the sequel, I believe. Yeah. Which was just, you know, it was just. I remember it too. It was a weird thing about like hmm. P Day moving into a neighborhood or something. Sorry, sorry, got off yeah. on track, but yeah, the song. That's like how Martin's weird. like. It takes forever to learn the lyrics. Remember the end of the mm-hmm. second one. He's like, you know, he's like, get that that that, that Jamaican part, you know, you know, oh, chicka, boom, 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 
way nice. I'm, I'm sorry, but go on. Um, but let us know what you guys thought of this trailer. I mean, uh, if you enjoy these two working together, especially, you know, watching them, following them pretty much, especially for these bad boy films and stuff like that. Let us know what you guys' thoughts are. Put down what you thought, uh, what you think this film is going to be like. You, th you think this is going to be the final one we're going to see them in? Or you think they we're going to see them, we're gonna literally do a lethal weapon where we're going to see them... You know, we're getting too old for this shit, and they're literally up, up in age. You know, I think that's stuff. what this film is. You know, and that and even I think I, you could be wrong. I, 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 wrong. I could be, I could be wrong. I could be right. I could be, you know, one or the other. But just let us know what you guys thought. Uh, thoughts are what do you guys can't wait for? Any returning characters you would love to see come back in this uh, film series? I'd love to see the, the the nerdy guy. Remember the thick glasses, yeah. Mari from the first one, because they carried him over to the second one. We'll see. Um, but let us know what you guys thought uh, of this trailer. Put down what you thought of our reaction as well. But most importantly, thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Kristen. I'm Chris. At first, has been a very bad boys filled episode of SRB. See you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out any of our previous reactions, as well as our other shows, click the playlist down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can check us out on Twitter. As well as Stardust. At Super React Bros.